I think it's finals day. We're here. We're definitely running the quarters and then maybe semis and finals, but they're gonna make another call after the quarters. So I have a quarterfinal coming up with Brisa. Really excited about it. Waves are looking fun. Hard, but pipe's always hard, so we're gonna go do it. Going into the quarterfinals, the waves were really challenging with incredibly tricky conditions. Um, that tends to be pipeline a lot of the time, but I was fortunate enough to be working with Shane Dorian throughout this event, and we had a really solid game plan. It's not too bad. Again, we were talking about it earlier, the, as we see live action here, Joe. Lakey Peterson, nice little hollow section that she's running through. She wants to seal the deal with a nice closeout. I was really stoked to get the win in this heat. We are at the Channel Islands house at Sunset Beach. Super cool. See, I rented a house on the beach at Sunset for the event, which is pretty rad. There's not a lot of board brands that do that. Um, but anyways, I'm still going in the pipe event. I'm into the semifinals and they're running the men all day today. Tomorrow's gonna be finals day over at Pipeline, but uh, it's all men's today, so I'm gonna take advantage of the swell on hand and practice a bunch out at sunset because that event starts in like a week. So I'm gonna try a bunch of boards today, go through them all, so I'm ready for that event. So what, what have we got here? On what the, have you been playing between the two models? I've been playing between the CI Pro, which is the newest Channel Islands uh, kind of performance board, and then a Rook 15 model, which I usually ride or have ridden for years. And currently, I'm really liking the CI Pro out at sunset. It feels really nice on like a little bit of a facier wave. Um, whereas the Rook 15s I've been riding a lot um, at pipe, and they felt great out there, but I do think that Today's gonna be all about the CI Pros. I'm gonna try a 6.2, a 6.4, and a 6.6 of the CI Pros and just figure out exactly how they work out here, so. While I was surfing, Tom found a chicken that he happened to fall in love with and named it Thunder. It's now going to be the team mascot of the CI house for the entirety of the sunset event. This is Thunder, our pet chick. Um, I just waxed like a 6.6 or a 6.4 earlier. Same model. Let's go for one more surf. Um, I have two of fun with not too many people right now, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Watching a few heats of Pipeline. It looks really tricky. But we'll focus on that tomorrow for now. Tomorrow's finals day at Pipe. Really excited about it. And then today they're running the men all day long. So I'm taking advantage of the swell on offer. Serpent Sunset, because that event starts in a few days. So we're getting board sorted for here. It kind of is weird planning for a whole new event when you're already still going in a, a previous event. Like I'm in the semis of Pipe tomorrow. And this starts in like five days, so I gotta get ready for sunset. But it's kind of cool. I feel like it's good for my momentum. Like I feel good, so I can just kind of keep it rolling.
um, slow, but then when the waves come, they're like actually really good shape, especially for sunset. Sunset's like notoriously hard to turn. And um, yeah, I had a really good time. Board felt really awesome. The CI Pro, for sure, I'm gonna ride, so. Happy with that, 6'4", feeling good. I was super stoked on that. Yeah, I think this is the best shower in the world, almost. For in terms of a view. If you look straight, straight at the surf from here. Unfortunately, the forecast for the rest of the pipe event was looking incredibly tricky. So I knew that finals day was gonna be a tough one and really take a lot of good strategy and watching the waves before my heat. On the men's quarterfinals right now, and then they're gonna run our semis, and semis, and our finals. So I'm in semi-final number one against Tyler. Waves are really tricky, um, but I'm feeling good, I'm ready to go, really excited. Losing this semifinal heat by 0.1 definitely was a bit of a heartbreaker and I was really hoping to make the final and win the event. But I was really proud of how I competed and it was a great way to start off my 2023 season. I just did an ice bath after my heat, which I feel amazing, but it was that cold. The thing was all ice. Look how red I am. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, Looks like I have a disease. The sister disease to leprosy. Um, ah, just finished at the Pipe Masters, or Pipe Pro, excuse me. And I lost to Tyler in the semis. It was a uh, really good heat, actually. I'm really proud of myself this week. Um, a lot to improve on, but also a lot of good takeaways. And uh, yeah, wish I could have gone to the final. and won the thing but it was a good result to start the year super excited for sunset that starts next week so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching and thank you thank you to everybody for all the support it's been amazing and it feels really great to just be competing it's gonna be an awesome year so thanks guys